Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. Yes, I've been having issues with my camera, but I'm here. You guys, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six minute on my back because I have yours, you guys. I love you guys. I hope all is well with you guys. We are going to pull from the love situation a phone call. Either you are waiting on a phone call bottom of the deck from somebody who it was toxic in your life and so it says the phone call expression of interest wanting to talk communication is the key somebody is realizing that forbidden fruit it says desire a uh, de desire but dangerous not socially acceptable and tempting and alluring they want to talk or you want to talk one of the other please do me a favor like share subscribe again and hit the bell notification take what resonates leave what doesn't if this isn't for you just sit back enjoy the ride and we will get to a point to where there is a reading that is for you but somebody is wanting to talk somebody wants to talk somebody who is ready to communicate there probably has been some type of silence in the, your life yeah and um unattracted unpredictable and secret acceleration um yeah only time will tell all you have to do is sit back send strength and healing to somebody in the 5d and let them feel your void let them feel that what it's like to not uh have your energy around and they will realize the toxicity that they are providing in your life or they have provided to your life but again the approach that you have to take is to let them know that you know what um you know keeping me as a secret or the attractiveness or the attractiveness the things that i was attracted to when it came to you was a little bit different but the thing is is now it's time for you to step up you or the person that you're dealing with it's time to step up and it's time to really see what it is let's see what's at the bottom of this uh love situation deck yeah stringing along this person string you along and only time will tell how long you're going to deal with it and at some point, you have to be able to be the one to move forward, make the decisions that might not be easy to make. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from, I forget the name of this tarot deck. Let's see if I can see it from over there. No, I cannot. Um, my office area is a little bit bigger than, no, it's not a little bit bigger than normal. But my um, card decks are on the wall over there. Uh, and all of my cards, the actual cards, the card boxes are over there. And the actual cards are here lined up against this desk over here. And then, of course, you know, I have my monitor here and one here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles energy. Slowly but surely, you're going places. So, again, the way that you're doing things moving forward, Ten of Cups energy, okay. But sometimes it's really, uh, it really is all rainbows and smiles. So you can't worry about what somebody is doing, the forbidden food, the toxicity that they provide. Sometimes you just have to be unsure about your strength and move forward. That's where the strength card is. It's sideways. It's unsure energy. And so when it comes to do 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 yeah, the Knight of Wands and excuse me, the Knight of Swords. I said the Knight of Wands. I thought another card turned over. The Knight of the Knight of Swords energy having clarity. It says be ambitious. Uh chase your your every dream so it's telling you to just work on yourself sometimes the unpredictability of a person and their energy and the way that you have to accelerate to get over them you know instead of you moving forward with the person the star energy you have to be optimistic and know and have faith and um have faith that healing is in the forecast that somebody will heal eventually but only time will tell the scars that they did to you made you made them feel empty that's why i kind of see the black hole as emptiness it kind of sees like it says a secret here the way that they wanted you to approach the situation and to always keep things under wraps or um to kind of keep you from doing the work for yourself slowly but surely you're going to you're going places but you decided let me do the work i'm going to be happy i'm going to smile because even through the storms i'm going to make sure that i'm ambitious be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination so i'm going to work on myself in this process of the unknown i'll pull from the breakup oracle deck because at some point it might not be an official breakup it might have just been you going into um hermit mode you know going to 
a situation where it's been unpredictable because you've been always there for a person and you just had to walk away. Yep, exactly. Divorce, escape, and is, 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 um, commitment, a double life. You've been dealing with somebody that's toxic and then moving on. Yeah, you had to move on from a situation. And so now this person can't move on. So they are not able to move on until they actually speak with you, communicate with you. And so you have to be the one to set the example of why You've done everything you could in this situation. Close the door. You've done everything, my prettiest here. So you've done everything that you needed to do in order to move forward. You know, you tried to give your all when it came to a certain situation and the escapism that a person had when it comes to actually committing. They'd rather live a double, double life until you decided to just walk away. And even if this isn't a commitment thing, you're giving them a reason to reflect on um you know, the Nine of Cups energies, which is at the bottom of the deck, it says live in constant state of gratitude. So you're happy about these certain situations. But, you know, normal Nine of Cups is just letting you know that, you know, you're having the emotional stability that you need right now. And here it is. That's because you decided to move on. But how they feel in regards to your acceleration, your growth, um, because of their were toxic, it says, I'm letting you go now so we can both move on. And so they felt like they were doing that, but in actuality, they can't move on. But that's the toxicity that they have in regards to the situation. I can't move on um, no matter how hard I try. So this is the black hole that they're in when it comes to your optimistic energy and escapism here. So they've been drinking heavily. It says drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs the mental agony. And then it says commitment. When I think about my future, I see you. So they're actually looking at things in a different perspective and a double life. I'm living a double life and I'm different. I'm a different person in each. So they were playing games. Again, the toxicity, the forbidden fruit, even though you knew it was somebody that wasn't able to give you what you wanted, you still were able to stay there, but it kept you in limbo. And so now once you started to move forward, divorce, it says I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you. So now they want to communicate with you. Communication is the key. They're going to realize that energy, but the unpredictability of where you are in this situation, you're happy, but you've recognized your strength. At some point you were unsure about whether you should stay or go but here it is you looked at things in a different perspective and you didn't see it what it, their toxicity was you just accelerated and moved on from the situation and now you're having your rewards you're having everything that you want by actually uh, excuse me following your dreams and also looking at the rainbows and smiling through whatever you felt uh, deep down inside and so again that's what normally happens when I tell you to send strength and healing the strength and healing comes from you strengthening yourself and trying to heal a person in the 5d and let them see what life is like without you yeah cancers we do have that effect on people and so at this point you have to be able to realize that you've done all you could the messengers of the heart, yes, it's going to pull you back, but the unknown of you actually moving f forward without knowing exactly how this person is doing just by sending strength and healing is not really enough. You want to tell this person all of your accomplishments and things like that, but and hopefully that they're accomplishing things, but at some point you can't do that. You just have to stay in that darkness of that person and just hope, yeah, lustful desires. Again, the forbidden fruit is here and the lack of faith they had a lack of faith in you you had a they they had a lack of faith in love and commitment you had a lack of faith in them wanting to commit it says leaving you out in the cold has been one of the biggest regrets which has made them lose hope in the situation and so they realize that they left you the rival is here it says they choose someone else over you and though it wasn't what they wanted they thought it was the right thing to do, but now they're realizing that it's not. So the double life that they were living, they're ready to leave it all behind for you. But, you know, you have to see exactly where you are. You're happy right now. You have the optimistic energy of the star underneath the bottom of the deck, and you also have... Um, you know, moving on and you also have your rewards here and you're accelerating out of this toxicity. But it says, again, leaving you out in the cold has been the one of the biggest one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. And so in this situation, so they're ready to stop living the double life, stop drinking and actually ready to commit and communicate. And that's the first thing. The communication is the first thing and what you were trying to get them to do all along. All this other stuff, you knew what could happen in the 
near future, but the toxicity, the forbidden fruit, again, lustful desires. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desires destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. And so that is what they had to do. That is what you did because you realized that the potential that you saw in this person wasn't enough to get you to where you needed to go. You had to step out and just get into a, situ a situation of unpredictability, actually kind of going into hermit mode instead of and actually looking at the things that you were attracting, um, the forbidden fruit, those things like that. So again, you have to go back, go within and look at your, 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 um, your uh, birth chart. You had to look at your energy and why you keep repeating the same type of cycles over and it's the toxicity it's the things that you attract and uh you know like attract like and i'm not saying that you're um you know you have toxicity or toxic energies you're codependent on those type of energies and they're codependent on you so you had to realize how to get out of that situation and not to let anything distract you even a phone call and those phone calls are the ones that have always distracted you those phone calls the drunken nights the things like that to say hey i'm coming over but you're like i don't have faith in this situation i'm only getting older i have to go after the things that i want and i have to be able to make these decisions for myself without allowing anybody else to stop me um, from growing and so that's kind of how I see that I'm gonna go ahead and pull let me see what um, deck I want to pull from because I think this is a really good read you again just have to get to a situation to where you are actually allowing yourself to grow and not letting somebody keep you stagnant well this is my small um, I can't think of what it is but this is the this is actually the generic card deck um, but anyway, a lot of people have them. I have like three or four of these ones that are new. I, this is in the reverse. Sorry, I didn't even look at that. But I'm going to pull it up in the upright passion and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Is at the bottom of the deck. And religious factor. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you want that um, have my cake and eat it too type of love. You want to have that potential and to be able to uplift and boost people up. But again, so again, the commitment might be happening, but again, it could be happening with someone else. I'll pull Terrell to see, but it says passion and honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So the new love is coming in your life. And therefore, that's because you have moved on and you've accelerated because of the lack of faith that you had in the situation. But again, you have the nine of cups underneath the bottom of the deck. Uh, which is rewards and you have the ten of cups which is happy life happy wife that okay but sometimes it's really all the rainbows and smiles so again you have set out to do the things that you needed to do to be tough to be ambitious to know what you want in a single-minded determination and to know what you don't want so again there could be somebody new entering into your life let me go ahead and pull let's see um let me see what card deck I want to pull from. Mm -hmm. I'll pull from. What is this? I don't want to stop the flow of this good energy. So I'm going to pull from, if I can find it in front of me or behind me, I was going to pull from like the romance. That was a romance deck that I just pulled from. But I think it's this one here the spiritual guidance. I think that's what. Uh, or spiritual gifts. I'm going to pull from the spiritual gifts. That's what it's called right here to see what you have been working on. Again, you have to be the one to make the decisions of what it is. But again, you had to have faith, be optimistic. And that's where the star card came underneath the bottom of the deck for it to guide you into the right way or to the right place that you needed to spell work and plant medicine. So you probably started to eat different. You probably started to use different types of affirmations, past live and chakra works. Again, that's the reason why I pull after the, I pull the chakra deck, uh, the crystal deck, which focuses on the chakras. And I pull from the four agreements so that we can understand to be impeccable with your words. Don't make assumptions to uh, always do your best and to, Mm, I forget the last one. Why can't I remember the last one? I'll tell you in a minute, but the chakra works. It says you're being called to examine a, um, and, and uncover the energy imbalances and blockages of the chakra system with the goal of healing and spiritual awareness. So that is what you're doing. Again, remember I said to you in the beginning that what you were doing is you had to look at things in a different light. You had to go back to see why you were repeating other energies. And that's the reason why when it comes to 
I don't know what that was. I think that was one of my cameras. But when it comes to how you start to look at that spell work to me, it says you're being called to explore, identify, raising, and directing energy with the intentions of bringing forth an outcome. That means to me you are manifesting things. You are singing affirmations. You are doing certain things to where you're changing the way you do things. Plant medicines could be you burning sage. It could be you eating different. You could be you doing things different when it comes to healthy uh, practices and also understanding what Palo Santo is, you know, those types of things. So it says you're being called to exploit plant medicine to bring healing to the body through its uh, therapeutic properties. That's even smelling, um, lemongrass oil that's even spelling orange oil to keep the the incense going and flowing in your house i usually with all my salt lamps i uh, put some orange oil on my salt lamps and it uh, illuminates the warmer they are it illuminates i don't cut them up too high but because they're like i got like 30 of them around my house but it illuminates and it smells through your house those smells those things you know eating different herbs i i i drink fennel water every day i love fennel water fennel lavender and mint water to people they don't like it but i do i love fennel seeds and so those are the the ways that um they're healthy for you so again you're doing things you're looking at affirmations you're you're you know maybe putting in ashwagandha maybe you're starting to take ashwagandha i take ashwagandha you know maybe taking magnesium you know you could be low in iron you could be low in different things that causes you to do certain things but past lives are here and this is you learning from the past not necessarily past lives it could be learning from the patterns and that's where we are you are being called to explore past lives to discover how the past is affecting current emotions it says emotions situations and behaviors so one can uh, gain a greater understanding and again i said that you are trying to understand where the past energies um have caused you stagnation and why you keep allowing and keep replaying those same types of energies but now you moved on and you have someone new and i'm gonna go ahead and pull let me see i'm going to pull let me see what deck this is from the foreign love oracle because this is a different type of love that you're going into even when it comes to either a new love the old love people are changing and so the foreign love oracle all of this is by maruk x but yeah tradition uh, isolation yeah so black hole you isolated yourself in order to get out of that that old type of energies and now you're fulfilling and you're on a risky journey yeah so bottom of the deck is don juan yes you're looking at those type of energies like don juan of course what is this energy the risky journeys of this forbidden fruit what has it done you've it caused you to isolate yourself but now you're fulfilling your goals underneath there is a soul connection so you could have in a uh, uh a soul connection with this don juan energy but if you guys don't learn from why you guys aren't together and what you guys are doing and if you know why you have to um understand where the communication was breaking at and where um, all of the energies were and why this person felt like these energies, the double life and why they're willing to leave the past behind them, why that was energy. So this could be who you were dealing with. So the soul connection could be with the Don Juan. My nose is running. I'm, I'm trying not to get sick. But anyway, let me go ahead and pull from. I'll pull from uh, what is this the broken mirror but then I will pull from what lies beneath as well because you could be dealing with or going not dealing with you could be going back to or really open to communication with the person that says love yourself toxic people addictions bad advice and wrong crowd this person could be around the wrong crowd bottom of the deck caught red-handed secrets exposed surprise and shock so this is the reason why you decided to move forward the self-love is here push and pull guilt yeah so it was a power struggle imbalance and stubborn and the guilt comes from the phone calls coming from an apology they're ashamed and they're remorseful that's why they're leaving the past and it's because you decided to take your love back taking back control loving you and finally being happy you're happy in regards to where you are in this situation or where you are at this present moment and they are you know feeling guilty about the past and the way that they treated you so they're walking away from the past and realizing that they were around toxic people or they were toxic that forbidden non-committal energy yeah was toxic and so they're realizing that and now here bottom of the deck that they realize the deceit the backstab backstab traitor not 
to be trusted. Energy is not how they want you to feel. And they realize they're broken, shattered, and they fucked up. And so they destroy, they're feeling destroyed. So that is why they are willing to contact you because they're seeing where their toxicity lies at. So that is a good read. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. I think, and that's the reason why they can't move on. And remember, at, underneath the bottom of the deck, their religious beliefs or their past beliefs are what caused you guys to walk away from or caused you to walk away from them. Uh, so we have the amateurine crystal that came out, which, remember, you're supposed to focus on the chakras. Those are uh, three out of the three, three, three chakras. Hold on one second. And then uh, we have the... For agreements, always do your best. You did your best in this situation. Express your own divinity. And it says, that's my pretty in the background. It says, you don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you. And you express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others. So you've loved this person. You've showed them what love is. You showed them how to love. And here it is. The amateur and crystal tells you to focus on your crown, your third eye, and your solar plex chakras. I'll put the video up. Um, if you want to know about the four agreements and also the uh, crystal, the chakras or whatever, balancing, soothing and intuitive. I am intuitive and protected. And so as long as you know that you won't have to um, uh, be unsure about your strengths and you'll know that moving forward. And you know that the toxicity is not something that you brought and the power struggle didn't come from imbalance on your part heart and you being stubborn it came from you giving your all to a person place thing or a situation that you love so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys bye bye